I'll see you there as well. Welcome to Off the Fence. I'm Finch. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, if you're just tuning in, make sure you, if you're watching from YouTube, make sure that you are clicking on the subscribe button. Make sure you are clicking on the notification bell so that you're notified each and every time a new episode goes live or we post a new video. We have a host of things coming uh, in this season and uh, and especially next season, season two. So thank you guys for tuning in and joining us. And don't forget, we got new merch on sale right now. I think it's 25 percent off. I am HaroldFinch.com is where you can get it and type in the code Finch25. All right, guys, my next guest is known as the Smileologist, and she's also the founder of Smileology Counseling Services, LLC, where her mission is to help people learn the art of smiling from within, and she's here tonight in the Talk of the Town. Welcome to Off the Fence, Erica. How you doing? Hi, Finch. It is so amazing to be here. Like, I got to match your energy like you. Yes, hey, I love I it. I stay on 30, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't even had my liquor for the evening. I'm just kidding. I don't drink. I don't drink. There's water in this cup. It's water. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so, listen, you, you, you are the smileologist. Now, you have to let me know what that means. Okay, so I'm the smileologist and kind of like a professor in college, you know, they teach you different uh, areas such as maybe sociology or anthropology or whatever. So mm -hmm. I teach you smileology, um, the art of smiling from within. So with that, I'm the smileologist. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. The smileologist. Okay, because you teach people how to smile from within. Now, yes. w what happened in your life that moved you into that direction? Goodness, that is such a loaded question. I guess I'll give you like the first part of it. Um, in high school, I had a school counselor that totally gave me like the cold shoulder when I was in need the most. And I remember walking away from that experience saying to myself, you know what, if I ever get the opportunity, if I, if God ever affords me, if I'm ever afforded this opportunity, mm -hmm. I am going into this field. And so that was the start right there. That okay. I thought you were about to tell me you had a wait in the heck exhale moment. To some I dude. had some of those too now. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> uh, I thought that was, that would be the one that took you over the edge. You know? <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah. I've, had, I've definitely had those. But it's it's all it's all been a part of the journey to get me where I am today. Got yep. you. Now you have a book, and we can't get into the a whole lot about the book because we're gonna talk about it when you come on on the show in January. But I really love the title, and I was like, man, listen, this is gonna be an excellent conversation on January 11th because, oh wait, wait, it's look at that, your book's sitting right behind you. Oh yeah, 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 it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you say deal with your ish. Uh huh. Ah. Now, so many people. Oh my God! Listen, I can't wait to dive into this. But so many people, even right now, have a host of issues of things in their lives that they're not willing to deal with. Uh, what's the inspiration behind that book? Um, once again, it's a personal journey. Um, many years of not really sitting and dealing with my own self. Uh -huh. um, uh, getting myself attached to situations, whether it be people, whether it be jobs, whether it be hobbies, so I don't have to deal with my own stuff. Um, the SHIT is actually an acronym for shame, hurt, insecurities, and trials. And I feel like we all have them. Now, if you don't have them, Finch, if you don't have any, then we need to like talk after this because I've never met anyone that doesn't have any SHIT to deal with. Hey, listen. I got some SHIT I'm dealing with right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, though. You know, growth is important. And you can't, I always say you can't grow until you become accountable for yes. your choices, your actions, and the like. Because if you're not willing to, you can't fix something you're not willing to face in the first place. Absolutely. I agree with that. Um, in private practice, I'm a therapist. So in private practice, that's the first thing my clients and I go through. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, what is your truth? You know, OK, so what kind that, of therapist are you a mental health therapist, a psychotherapist? OK. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So so like you like. <laughs> did you analyze me before now? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. 
I'm just playing. I'm just what playing. What you come up with? I want to hear what you came up with. I didn't. I mean, so far, so good. Uh, I, I feel that um, you have an explosive personality. I think that it that it has probably taken you very, very far. Um, uh, and that's all I got so far. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Now, now we talked about skincare in the last segment. Your skin is glowing right now. Is that the light or is something else? What kind I mean, of you got? I mean, it might just be the light. I don't know, but I try to drink my water. I do okay. eat Cheetos here and there. Um, you heard Dave use, talk about the Cheetos. Yes, and I heard <laughs> Angela talk about the tweezers. I, I use tweezers. I got to stop doing that. So I don't know. It's just maybe the light. Maybe it is my glow. Who knows? It's your glow. Okay, so so you got three secrets you're going to give about self-improvement. Yep. What's number one? Number one is really what we just said, being honest with yourself. I think that is so important. Like, how mm. can we really truly improve if we're not even being honest? Like, what are yeah. we improving? Right. We're not working on the truth. So that is huge. I mean, a lot of us are walking around daily with masks on, you know, um, lying to ourselves, right? Lying to ourselves. We're in marriages, lying to our spouses. We're parents, Ooh. lying to our children. Ooh. We CEOs of a job and we're lying there. Like it, it's, it's amazing how many of us are walking around doing that. So, of course, that is always going to be like my first tip. Mm -hmm. And get into the next level mentally. It's being honest. You gotta be honest. What do you think and what have you seen in your practice that causes people not to be honest with themselves? Oh my goodness. The biggest thing is shame. You know, uh, um, people, you know, it, people are ashamed of things that they've gone through in their past. They mm -hmm. are uh, you know, wanting to hide that because people are judgmental. And let's be honest, people are, you know. And right. so that's why I encourage people to go to therapy and find a therapist that fits them because in that space is sacred or it should be. And mm -hmm. you're able to go in, mask off and really get down to the root of stuff because out in the world, people judge you. That's true. And I think now, probably maybe five, six years ago now, I adopted a mind over matter mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what that is, Erica? Yeah, let me hear. Let me hear what you got on it. I don't mind what you think about me because it don't matter. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, it don't matter. So, so the the moment I stopped worrying about what people thought, what people say, because people gonna talk about you regardless. People gonna have an opinion. They're gonna feel a certain kind of way, no matter what it is. I mean, we see this every day on social media alone about mm -hmm. people have a comment about everything. I saw so a woman posted yesterday about. Uh, her favorite Avengers and people had something to say about the people that she didn't mention. It's like, you're never going to satisfy everybody. So the moment you stop worrying about what people have to say, the better off you'll be. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I, I really do. I think that that in itself will really help people get to the next level. You know, I, I can't sit here and say Finch that like, I am totally mind over matter like you, you know, I'm still, <laughs> I, I'm still working on that, you know, <laughs> Social media sometimes make me feel some kind of way. However, uh, you know, it's it's a work in progress. Um, and I think that once we really get to the level of I really do not care, uh -huh. I think life shifts in a positive yeah. way. I really do. Yeah. Well, the thing that helps me with even with social media, even when I read stuff that people say um, uh, about me or stuff, I, I don't take it personal. You know, I look at it as, hey, it's their opinion. They're entitled to it. It don't bother me. I don't care. I always I used to tell a lot of people uh, when I used to do motivational speaking many moons ago is I don't allow people who have no power to my destiny influence my journey. It don't even Ooh, matter. It don't fair. matter. You ain't got no power to where I'm going. Why are you are influencing what I'm doing right now? It don't matter. So I think when you start working on your I call it emotional. Um, what's it? What's it? Intelligence. Yes. When you start working on your emotional intelligence and you start being self-aware, number one, you start uh, self-regulating. That's another thing that we have to learn how to do. Uh, people shouldn't have to tell you about stuff that's wrong, that you do is wrong. You know the stuff you do ain't right. Correct it yourself, you know, yep. and, and have some empathy when it comes to people. Be compassionate toward people and understand that everybody is going to operate a certain way. You know, it's one of the things I'm working on. Uh, that I work on now is realizing everybody don't think like me. It's okay. Right. You know, right. you know? Right. and, and trying to understand people where they are. And then sometimes 
uh, Yana said this. You, you got to leave them. <laughs> you got to you got to meet them where they are. But sometimes you're gonna have to leave them there. So yes, you know. I, I agree with that. I totally yeah. agree. I think the other thing that um that really keeps people from working on their self or dealing with their ish is ego. Ego is is huge. Ego, will ha- it will have you out here doing some crazy stuff. It will have you out here lying to yourself and others. It, it's just, you know, it's a lot when we talk about ego. Mm-hmm. And I think that when we start operating from a different space, um, and I call that space spirituality. I love God. It's just what it is. Um, but I'm still I'm still human at the end of the day. But I think when we begin to operate in that space versus through ego, uh-huh. I think that I think that we will not be as ashamed and we'll be willing to deal and be real. That's true. That's true. All right. So what's number two? Number two is protecting your peace at all costs. Whew. Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let nobody disturb your peace. That's it. That's it. It's huge. Um, one of the things I like to think about when I go around people is like, when I'm around you, what what does it feel like when I'm around you? Are you easy to digest? Uh-huh. If I come around you and my stomach started hurting and I just it's just too much, then our energies are not are not matching. You're yeah. you're not, you're disturbing my peace. Uh-huh. Um, and this goes for family. This goes for friends. This goes for a dead end job. Mm-hmm. If it is disturbing your peace, then we need to figure out how to let it go, leave it there, and move mm-hmm. forward. Now, when it comes to work, because I know a lot of people are unhappy at the job they go to and they might be working from home right now. How how do people uh, adjust when it comes to a job being the thing that's disturbing their peace? And they have, you know, they got bills, got COVID. You know, you what city are you in right now? Atlanta. Oh, y'all ain't cared about COVID. Not one time. I was like, they with COVID. COVID ain't even here. <laughs> y'all been clubbing and booty shaking. All, I mean, y'all strip clubbing, <laughs> night clubbing, partying. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't. Y'all governor don't care about COVID. <laughs> well, y'all lives. <laughs> we like, care. Oh. A, a, a small bit of us care. I promise okay. you that. A small bit of us care. But I would say, um, for the person that is working a job and they are feeling like it's disturbing their peace, um, don't quit today. I'm not saying that, you know, but what I am saying is take this time while we are kind of on lockdown to begin to come up with a plan to get up out that job, whether that is going into entrepreneurship, whether that is starting a nonprofit, whatever, you know, but create a plan at the end of the day. Don't quit your job, ma'am, sir. That's not what I'm saying. But they'll say Erica told me to (laughs) trust God and just step out (laughs) on faith. Let me go on and just quit the day. Nope. God also gives you common sense. Let's be clear. <laughs> you know, people be talking about, God told me to quit my job today. No, he did not tell he you He sure that. did not. <laughs> he did not tell you that, ma'am or sir. So she's not saying quit your job. She's saying formulate a plan so that you can leave it. That's 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 the thing, right? Yeah, that's it. Simple. Yeah. All right. All right. So what's number three? Number three is, and this I think is like the the one of the biggest ones I feel like, is give yourself some grace. Um, a lot of us are so hard on ourselves. Um, mm-hmm. I know this because I have lived this. It's like, okay, well, Erica, you didn't do this right. And then you got to do this. And, you got, and it's like, Erica, chill. Give yourself some grace. Give yeah. yourself some grace. And sometimes that looks like forgiving yourself. Sometimes that looks like putting your to do list to the side for the day and do Netflix and chill and chill by yourself. You know, you can do Give that. You, I you mean, can. I th- I do. <laughs> you can Netflix and chill by yourself. Sure wow. can. Okay, that's okay. some good self care. I promise you. Okay, now, now do you do you think people find it hard to? extend grace to themselves like we can do that with friends we can do that with family we can do that with co-workers we can do that with people who wronged us but somehow we just can't do that with ourselves yeah absolutely i think it you know people a lot of us have this idea of perfection in our heads and Mm -hmm. that goes back for a lot of us to our childhood somebody told us somewhere that hey you're not good enough or you got to keep going and you got after you do that and do this and we've been programmed in a certain kind of way and so here we are as adults not knowing how to relax, not knowing how to chill. It's like, you gotta, you gotta be perfect. You gotta do it this way. You gotta keep working. Actually mm. go get another job and go. I think a lot of it has to do with programming when we don't want to give ourselves grace. Cause some people can do it and they do it easily. Right. But then you have people like me where it's like, I have to literally 
remind myself, like Erica, give yourself some grace. It's okay. Right. Do, do you have you found in your in your travels? And I don't know how old you are, but have you found in your lifetime it's been difficult to bounce back from a self inflicted letdown or disappointment? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's very hard. Um, it goes back to the whole idea of how I've been programmed in certain mm -hmm. areas. You know, it's like I, I want to I want to get it right. Right. And, to, and if it's something that I did to myself, that's even worse versus someone else doing it. You know, because right. it's like I did it to me. Right. That's that's hard. And why yeah. didn't I get it right if I did it to me? So yeah. um, and I, I'm glad we were talking about this because even as a therapist, I'm a therapist that has a therapist. And a lot of people have a misconception like, oh, you're a therapist. You got it all together. No, right. I don't. You right. know, I've just been gifted to do a certain thing. So um, I just feel like we all have to really be honest and the, even with these steps, be honest about what, what we got going on and really deal with our ish. Yeah. Protect yeah. your peace. Now, did, do you find people saying uh, because you're right. I always said about when I used to do motivation speaking, who motivates the motivator? You know, who inspires the one who inspires so many people? You know, who empowers the empower? And so as a therapist, you have a therapist and you're saying this and it's like, well, e even not about not having it all together. It's just about I need a balance in my life myself because I deal with other people's problems all day. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um and when I first got into the field, it was maybe over like 10 years ago, um, I didn't have that balance and it got really, really hard. Um, and it was like, wait, I'm giving myself away constantly and I have nothing, nothing left for me. And so that's when I decided, OK, go and get you a therapist. You go and do the reverse. Go sit on their couch. You know what I mean? Instead right. of you being in the chair, taking notes and all that jazz. And so um, it, it has been amazing for my life. I even think that it's made me a better therapist because I'm more relatable. Now. Right. OK. All right, Erica, listen, I can talk to you all night, but we don't have all night to talk. <laughs> 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 but you're going to be back here on January 11th, right? Yes, sir. OK. All right. So, Erica, if people want to connect with you, how can they do that? I am on uh, Instagram, mostly Smileology Counseling. And then if you would like to book something with me, a consultation, maybe therapy, um, you go to SmileologyCounseling.com. So that is me. Thank you so much, Mr. Finch, for having me. This was the, a pleasure being here. And I hope some people get off the fence tonight. Yeah, yeah because <laughs> people might have questions that they didn't want to ask here that they may want to just ask you personally and privately, which is fun play okay with us so please do that reach out to her tell them again just in case smileology counseling on instagram and then smileologycounseling.com if you would like to book um something individual and it ain't gonna be free it's not free that's my bread and my butter baby <laughs> <laughs> all right erica we'll see you back here in january and uh till then you stay your ass off the fence okay <laughs> i will thank you so much Mitch. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. You're in the mix. The world's finest, man. DJ. Now. Bust it. I have the radio on the telly.